Hello YouTube, Brent Peter here with you. Coming to you from Valencia. Finally made it back to Dumaguete last night after a little bit of a little bit of cancellation, a little bit of delay, but I made it back. Feels good to be home. Uh, got my old apartment back, gonna be here for another month. But I thought I'd make this quick little video, tell y'all uh, when's the best time to come to the Philippines. And if you're anything like me, the sooner the better. And we'll talk about some of the the cost of the airfare to get over here. <clears throat> I've been keeping up with trying to, with with airplane tickets and stuff. I've got a little app on my phone that notifies me when when uh, airfares go up and down or whatever. But I was looking through there today, and I found some of the cheapest prices for airfare from the United States to the Philippines that I've ever seen. Uh, record low, uh, and. I, I use an app called Skyscanner. <clears throat> gotta try it going by. Yeah, I use a, a, an app called Skyscanner, and with it, you, you really gotta get in there and play around. But they've got different options on the on the on the app, where you can like so select a whole month, and it'll it'll tell you the price per day, and you just hit the day, and uh, try to go try to find the cheapest fares. A lot of times, I'll have to I'll go through different cities and hop around, and you'd be surprised how much money you could save. Uh, just by playing with that app. Uh, sometimes you can outsmart yourself like I kind of did on this little, last little adventure, but on the way to the Philippines, it's pretty cut and dry. It's, uh, uh, I think I think this last time I came to the Philippines probably cost me about $1,000 airfare. Well, you can, it's, it's only a third of that now, folks. Well, I say that, I looked, I played with the dates, I typed in September and it was as low as 285, 295. I'll put a picture here in the deal and, and show you. Uh, that's one way from from LAX to Manila, and there's of course there's lots of different airlines and and a lots of different uh, options to go. But if you're just looking for the cheapest way to get over here, uh, this X X Men. I don't know how you how you pronounce it. It's a Chinese airline, I think. It's X I. X I A M E N, uh, $285 from LAX to Manila. Uh, got an ad popped up, let me see. Uh, China Airlines, $500. Uh, Filipino Airlines, uh, $684. Cathay Pacific, which is a good airline. I've, I've never, I've never uh, dealt with Cathay Pacific, but I've heard nothing but good uh, about them. Uh, 544 uh, Korean Air 552 China Airlines 500 uh, Cafe Pacific 544 United 563 uh, and, and, and a lot of these the, the, the amounts vary on how long it takes you to get here how many stops but most of these are one stop uh, here's a let me let me go back to to the the 280 something dollar one it's a 28 hour flight and it's one stop uh it's a layover in china uh here's the the china the china airlines the 500 dollar one is one stop and it's only 17 hours and 40 minutes so if you're anything like me uh i want to get here the cheapest and the quickest way possible uh but a, but a bunch of people that just want to get over here, they might want to really pay attention to this because uh, four or five hundred dollars worth of airline extras uh, could mean the difference of you making it or making or breaking you here in the Philippines, uh, giving you giving you the courage to get over here or to, to pull the trigger and go ahead and come. If this has been a dream of yours, uh, I'd say September's the definitely the month to go. Uh, yeah, uh, cash is king over here. So, so you want to be able to uh, save as much cash and, and have as much cash available as possible. You know, you can pay for your hotels and that kind of stuff with credit cards, uh, but you definitely want to get over here with as much walking around money as you can, as you can, uh, as you can have. You know, you don't want you don't and. Like I say, $500 in difference in an airplane ticket 
could actually make you or break you, make you make this a your new home, or you might have to if you if you catch them fares when they're up, you know, it could be a thousand dollars difference, and so you can live a, you can live a a month easy on a thousand dollars a month uh, over here in the Philippines. So uh, you save you save a thousand dollars or you save half that. You know that's that's either an extra month or extra half a month. Or, or just a more comfortable uh, month in general. What I did when I came over here the first time, I, I got some cheap tickets and I flew from LAX, or no, I flew from San Francisco to Tokyo. And I stayed three days in Tokyo just because I wanted to break it up. I didn't want to, <clears throat> it's like a 14 hour flight all the way over here to the Philippines, something like that. And so it was my first time flying anywhere that was over you know, five hours. So I wanted to break it up. So I flew into Tokyo. Zip Air has a hell of a deal. They leave every day at a, at a LAX and fly to Tokyo. One way, a direct flight. I mean, you can get round trip, but I mean, direct flight for like three hundred and eighty dollars. And that's every day. That's not that's not catching it. You know, on a special or whatever. So that's the route I took. This last time I used Starlux. Uh, which uh, was a little better experience, uh, way more luxury. Uh, it, it was both of them was great flights. The Zip Air is more of a budget airline. They they weigh your bag, and their bags are expensive. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, these some of these bigger airlines that that looks like it costs a little more. Uh, a lot of times they're as cheap or cheaper if you want to if you want to throw in, if you want to figure your baggage because some of the most of the major ones give you like a free carry-on and uh, like a satchel or whatever and then uh, one to check in these cheap airlines like zip air and Lux, starlux uh, they'll charge you for baggage and they it, it can be uh, hundred dollars a bag so keep that in mind but if you're just wanting to come to the philippines and money's the only thing holding you back well, this is the time to do it. September September 29th is the day I typed in. And like I said, these these rates will go up and down. So uh, I've never seen them this low. And like I say, I've, I watch, I keep this Skyscanner app. I have notifications uh, come to me. When I first started trying to get over here six years ago, the cheapest I ever saw was $600 round trip. And that was through like ASAP. And it was one of them companies, like a third party company. About that time the Philippines closed, so I used them to go to Cancun instead. <clears throat> and the day before my flight, they uh, mess messaged me and told me that my return flight had been canceled. And so they was trying to get me to rebook for like a day or two later. And I said, no, I'm going. I'll worry about my, my ride back later. You got a month to figure it out. I don't know why you're uh stressing about this now and matter of fact the new plan the new flights that they sent me my return date was on the same date as as the one that they was trying to cancel so anyway i uh, never used asap again i try not to use secondhand carriers uh, i've used e-dreams uh, three or four times and that's been pretty good to me so I, I can't complain there but your best bet is to go through the carrier itself like if it's american airlines or or uh, just the name of the airline instead of these uh, third-party companies. Because if you're if you, anything goes wrong, you got to cancel. I don't care if you've got flex flight or any of that. It's much easier dealing with just the airline. Because if not, they're going to send you to that third party, and the third party is going to try to tell you to send you to the the airline. It's just a whole lot less hassle if you'll just go through the the airline that you choose to fly. Uh, some of the times, and it don't make no sense. I know it don't. But a lot of the times that going through that airline will cost you more than going through, say, a, a Travelocity or any of, any of them, E-Dreams, any of them, or uh, even like Cebu Pacific and, and uh, Phil, uh, Philippine Airlines. To, uh, to go through them, you usually have to pay a little more. Sometimes not, but most of the time. And it may just be $20, but uh, keep that in mind. So... Uh, always try to use the airline uh, to book your tickets, and a lot of times you can you can go on these like the Skyscanner. Yes, it's third party, but it it sends you to a deal, and it'll give you like 
five different options. Do you want to use uh, the airline itself? Do you want to, and it'll give you the prices. And a lot of people just pick the cheapest one. But if you look at some of their ratings and some of the, read some of the reviews, you'll figure out that it's probably worth paying an extra 20, $30 to go with the, with the carrier, uh, or with the airline itself. Uh, that being said, uh, I know, I know the price of the tickets over here is what held me back uh, for so long. And about the time I was ready to pull the trigger, uh, the COVID hit. And so I was, wasn't was able to, to, to get over here for, uh, took me, I guess, six years or four years, uh, five years. It took me five years to finally, after they, I had to wait on them to open up. It seemed like I was watching uh, videos on, on travel requirements for, for about two years after that after that uh, outbreak and after we went through what we all went through traveling was difficult so uh, but like I said uh, $300 one way that's about as cheap as I've ever seen it even in a package deal uh, first time I come over here like I said I, I come over here on a one-way ticket that's all you need you do need a an ongoing flight but you can get on that uh, throwaway tickets whatever pay $14 for just to throw it just so you'll have something saying I'm leaving the country if the tickets uh, all its purpose is is to get you through the get you on the airplane that's really the only people that uh, the airline itself is really the only ones that look at that before you board the plane so as long as you as long as you got an onward ticket as long as you got your e-travel uh, which is as simple as filling out a little form on the computer on your phone. Uh, they'll send you a little SM code. Uh, you got to wait uh, within 72 hours of your flight is the only thing, which is no big deal. Never had, never had any issues with it. Uh, it's always been uh, an hour or two tops for me to get my uh, e-travel voucher. Uh, so I've never, I've never had any any trouble with with the e-travel itself. Matter of fact, when I went from here to Vietnam, uh, on my way back, I, I just, I totally forgot about the e-travel deal. So I was trying to get on an airplane at Vietnam and they was like, well, where, have you done your e-travel? And I was like, yeah, I done that, you know, last month when I went. Well, you got to do it every time you go to the Philippines. I was like, shit, I'm in the airport. My plane's about to leave in about two hours. I got on there, boom, they sent me e-travel. And then it's like, what, do you have an ongoing ticket? I'm like, well, hell, I live over there. Don't that count for anything? No. I was now in a rush. It was like an hour and a half before my my plane was about to fly away. So I went ahead and booked, a, I don't know, the cheapest flight out of the Philippines I could find. I think it was to Malaysia or somewhere. It cost me like 60 bucks. Uh, but I, I couldn't remember the name of the throwaway ticket deal, so... I was in a panic and I was just trying to hurry up and get, get me something to show them so I could get on that plane. So keep that in mind. That'll save you a little, save you a lot of heartache and, and a little bit of money. So uh, I hope this helps. Like I say, I, I'll put the, I'll put the, the airlines and it was uh, September 29th uh, was the, was the cheapest I found, but I, I just looked at it for about five or 10 minutes. So y'all can play with it. You can put in different, uh, I did, LAX was the cheapest. I, I, I typed in Houston and Chicago, and out of the three, Houston, uh, I mean, uh, LAX, of course, it's the closest. It was the cheapest, and I even tried San Francisco because that's the last, the, the only two times I've come to the Philippines, I've wound up flying out of San Francisco, but LA, LAX had them beat by $100. $100. So I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that if you're wanting to come to the Philippines, that maybe this will give you a little push, give you a little urge, give you a little chance to do it. Uh, it's great over here, folks. It really is. I know we get on here and gripe about the little things, but the cost of living, the the, the beautiful women, the the awesome people, the the nature, the just the beauty is. Uh, every country's got its good and bad. When I make these videos, griping and stuff, I, I'm just trying to share my experiences and to keep some of y'all from going through some of the same things I gotta go through. So keep that in mind. Uh, and most vloggers are, they're not trying to knock the Philippines or any country. I, I go to a lot of places that if I don't see, you know, I, I, I'm not here to, to just uh, hammer on a country. I wouldn't be here if I didn't love it. Uh, 
the Philippines, there's no way I could live like this back home. So uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, I am back, I'm back in Valencia. It's gonna be some more of these talking head videos for a while. I've noticed a lot of y'all don't like the travel videos. A uh, few of you say you do, but I just don't get the hits when I'm traveling as I, as I do, just uh, sitting here talking about the regular everyday way of life here in the Philippines or the everyday issues or the everyday. So I'll be here for about a month. Uh, and then I don't know, may extend, may decide to go uh, motorbiking across the Philippines. It's a lot harder to do here in the Philippines dealing with all this islands and ferries and all that stuff. Unlike Vietnam where you can just get on and go. Uh, but there's a lot of country I'd like, like to see, so uh, I'm, I'm really thinking about, uh, about doing that. Maybe, maybe on the eastern, eastern side, I've kind of covered the west. Hadn't covered it, but I've, I've hit, hit a lot of spots here in the Philippines. So I hadn't, hadn't hit that east side, but the Leyte side, on all the way up, uh, all the way up through Luzon, I think. I think you can, you can only got to cross an ocean a time or two, or, or, or that's what it looks like according to the map, I think, from Leyte all the way up to Luzon. It's, it's uh, more roads than, than island hopping. So uh, I'm really think, looking forward to, to, to doing that. Just gotta kind of rest up. I, I, I've, I've, that little last deal was two weeks long and I'm just, I just not cut out for that anymore. I need to sit, chill, uh, relax. Uh, and maybe in a month I'll be ready to go. Maybe not. Maybe I'll stay here another month. But anyway, folks, that's all I've got. Appreciate everybody that's given me, that's subscribed. Uh, we've got over 2,000 subscribers. It's been one hell of a ride. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, hit that thumbs up, thumbs down. If you don't like it, uh, hit me. Give me a subscribe. Shoot me a message. I'll try to get to you. Uh, that's all I got for now. This is Brent Trippin'. Peace.